So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Again, I say that because it is greater than four lines long. So what do I do with these types of questions? Well, I like to read only a sentence at a time, making sure to stop in between sentences to make sure I understood what I just read. And also any quantitative information that I read, I want to write that down right away, make sure I make sense of it before moving on. So the question says, Laura plans to paint the eight foot high rectangular walls of her room. All right. So I know that she has walls. So I'm going to just represent a wall. And I know that that wall is eight feet high. Okay. Uh, and before she buys paint, she needs to know the area of the wall surface to be painted. All right, so most walls are rectangular. So again, I have a wall already drawn here. I know the height is eight feet. That's all I know about it so far. So let's keep reading. Two walls are 10 feet wide. All right, so I have two walls that are 10 feet by eight feet, right? Because we already were given the height. Now we're just given the width. So I know I have this times two. And the other two walls are 15 feet wide. Okay, so I have another two rectangular walls that are also eight feet high. And these, however, are 15 feet wide. And again, that's times two. So because I just read that she needs to know the area, again, before even continuing reading, I'm gonna say, well, what is the area of each of these walls? Well, the area of this wall here is just base 10 times height eight which makes it 80 square feet. So therefore, altogether, there are 160 square feet of area between those two walls with those dimensions, eight by 10. And then here, uh, base 15 times height is 120. So I have 120 here, but 120 times two gives me 240 square feet. Okay, so again, it kind of shows you how I'm thinking through this and I'm working it out as I go versus reading the whole thing and then trying to go back and piece things together. So now the next sentence says the combined area of, of the one window and the one door in her room is 60 square feet. Okay, well now they're talking about the entire room. So her room is the sum of the four walls. Um, so that is 400 square feet. However, right, we need to subtract out the window and the door, which we're told is 60. So I'm going to say it's minus 60 square feet, of course. And therefore, her room, in terms of paintable surface area, is 340 square feet. All right. Then it goes on to say, what is the area in square feet of the wall surface lower plans to paint? Oh, well, what do you know? Because I'm following along and doing the math as I go, making sense of things as I go, I've already found the answer that you're looking for, and therefore our, our answer here is choice B.